I, absolutely, I agree with you. You know, rain's not going to stop anybody, right? No. And chances for thunderstorms will be minimal. So let the game go on. Hey, That's what I say. It. And Appalachian State University is going to be Here playing Troy Here down in go. Alabama. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see tomorrow. So I hope it's not going to rain them out. It mm. won't. It's rain or shine, but still. There you go. Yeah. So what are you saying? They're they're going to win either way. Well, I, yeah. All fans are going to win. Yeah, there you go. That okay. was more, Alicia. You know. Well, definitely pack the poncho. I'll just say that. All right, let's check it out here. We're going to give you that forecast for the big game at Bank of America Stadium. Kickoff time is at 8 o'clock, and we are expecting the rain to be on the moderate to heavy side around that particular time. But we'll be dealing with showers off and on throughout the rest of today, right on through the weekend. It looks like they'll start to diminish as we get into Sunday. A live look now at our tower cam again there. You can see that we have the overcast skies and some light rain showers that are continuing to work their way through the Charlotte metro area. Still got some light rain stretching from the mountains once you get into Ashwatauga, Avery counties, a little bit farther towards the east there, headed towards Iredell County as well. We zoom out here and take a closer look at what's happening across the entire southeast. We've got this area of low pressure that's sweeping through the southern half of Missouri. It's going to be pushing a warm front farther towards the north, and it's out ahead of that warm front that we'll see some heavier rain headed our way. That's first going to push through parts of Birmingham and Atlanta and then head back our way as we get into Saturday. So that's when we're looking at the highest rain chances and the heaviest rainfall headed our way. And for now, it looks like it's just going to be on the light side and very spotty as we go throughout the remainder of the afternoon. We'll take you through future cast here. You can see how those showers will start to dissipate just a little bit as we head towards this evening right around six o'clock. Just a few isolated showers pushing through parts of the northern half of Mecklenburg County there a little bit farther uh, towards the west also into parts of Catawba County heading towards midnight though and around 11 o'clock. Well, we're still overcast and get a bit of a break, but look at what happens by tomorrow morning. The rain starts to pick up in intensity again, and we're seeing some heavier rain pushing through our area. So here we are at two o'clock. This is going to be with us all day long for tomorrow. And with that pretty much starting not to push out of here until we get into your Sunday morning around the noon hour, still some isolated showers will be possible from the mountains on into parts of Mecklenburg County, York, Chester and Lancaster counties. And we're going to see anywhere from about a half of an inch of rainfall with this upwards to about an inch, some spots over an inch. So some locally heavier or higher rainfall totals will be possible. Looking ahead to this evening, of course, we are kicking off the McAdenville Christmas Town, and of course, there'll be some wet weather for that particular event as it starts later on this evening. 56. That's all we're going to get for today. 64 tomorrow and warming up even more for Sunday, especially as we get some sunshine towards the afternoon with a high of 69.